Imagine a tiny creature, smaller than a coin. It hides in the shadows, trying to stay unnoticed. Yet a single bite from this little being can cause convulsions, paralysis, and even death. The Black Widow is one of the most famous and terrifying spiders on the planet. But what makes it so dangerous? Why do millions of people see it as a true symbol of fear? The name Black Widow itself sounds ominous, and for good reason. The females of this species usually consume the males after mating, which earned them their grim nickname. Add to this their menacing appearance, a shiny black body marked with a bright red hourglass on the abdomen. Even those who know nothing about spiders feel uneasy when they see this creature. Black Widows can be found all over the world. They prefer warm climates and hidden places. Cracks in walls, wood piles, basements, sheds, and even shoes left outside. But despite its reputation, the Black Widow is not an aggressor. It doesn't attack humans first. Usually it tries to hide or escape when it senses someone approaching. But if it is disturbed, pressed by a hand, or accidentally touched, it may bite. And that is when the real danger begins. The bite of a female Black Widow is not just painful, it can be life-threatening. Its venom contains a neurotoxin called latrodenctism, which affects the nervous system. After being bitten, a person may experience burning, tingling, muscle spasms, headaches, and nausea. In severe cases, symptoms can even escalate to difficulty breathing, tachycardia, high blood pressure, and even paralysis. One such case occurred with a 34-year-old tourist in California. He woke up early in the morning to put on his sneakers and head out for a hike. And just minutes after slipping his shoes on, he felt a sharp pain in his leg, followed by a growing numbness. Breathing became difficult, and his body was seized by convulsions. Fortunately though, his friends quickly called an ambulance. Thanks to the anti-venom and painkillers administered by doctors, the man's life was saved, but he still suffered lingering effects for several weeks. Weakness, headaches, and muscle spasms. The venom is especially dangerous for children, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems. Although fatal cases are extremely rare today thanks to modern medicine, they have been recorded, especially in the past when no anti-venom existed. An interesting fact, the venom of the Black Widow is considered stronger than that of a rattlesnake, but the dose is far too small to kill a healthy adult. The key is to recognize the bite quickly and seek medical help immediately. The females are the truly dangerous ones, the ones usually depicted in photos and movies. Males are a bit smaller, lighter in color, and pose very little threat. Their bites are rare and far less toxic, but it's the female's behavior that has made the Black Widow a symbol of danger and fatality. After mating, the female may eat her partner, if he doesn't escape in time, that is. In nature, this behavior makes sense. The female invests a great deal of energy into producing eggs, and an additional source of protein, even in the form of her former mate, can be useful. Over her lifetime, she can lay up to 9 egg sacs, each containing as many as 400 eggs. However, not all of them survive. The spiderlings may devour each other before even leaving the cocoon. The competition begins from the very first moments of their lives. The Black Widow, though, weaves a messy, tangled web, usually close to the ground. It's not as symmetrical or neat of those as other spiders. Yet, in this apparent disorder lies her trap. As soon as prey touches the web, the spider reacts instantly, rushes down, and strikes. She can feed on insects, other spiders, and sometimes even small lizards. Despite her danger, the Black Widow plays an important role in the ecosystem. She helps control insect populations and maintain balance. There's really no reason to destroy these spiders without cause. As a rule, they don't seek out encounters with humans and, in most cases, actually try to stay away. Still though, caution is wise. If you live in or travel to regions where Black Widows are founded, be sure to check your shoes before putting them on. Don't leave clothes out on the floor and avoid dark corners and old buildings especially if the conditions are warm and dry. Imagine this, you're relaxing on a picturesque tropical beach. Warm water, gentle sunshine, coral reefs, and shallow waters that seem perfect for a barefoot stroll. But then, a single step, and suddenly a searing pain, as if a red-hot spike has been driven into your foot. Your skin burns, your muscles convulse, and you lose consciousness. The cause? A rock. Or rather, a stonefish, the most venomous fish in the world. And you wouldn't even realize that it was a fish. At least, not until it was far too late. This marine predator is considered one of the most dangerous and hardest to spot creatures on the planet. It doesn't swim around hunting for prey, it doesn't attack like a shark, and it doesn't look threatening. It simply lies still on the seabed, completely motionless, looking just like an ordinary piece of coral rock. 
Its camouflage is so perfect that even professional divers sometimes step on them by accident. Scientifically known as Sinensia verrucosa, this is the infamous stonefish. It lives primarily in the Indo-Pacific region, near the coast of Australia, Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, and the Philippines, even over in Japan. The fish prefers shallow waters and often hides in the sand amongst rocks and coral at depths ranging from just 20 centimeters to about 1 meter. This predator lies in wait. When prey, such as a small fish or a crustacean, swims on by, the stonefish sucks it in within a fraction of a second. It's one of the fastest attacks in the underwater world. But the real danger isn't to its prey, it's to humans. On its back are 13 sharp spines hidden within its dorsal fin. These spines are connected to venom glands that produce a neurotoxin, one of the world's most potent natural poisons known. The spines are as tough as needles. They can essentially pierce through skin, footwear, and even diving fins. When a person accidentally steps on the fish, the spines instantly stab into the foot and inject venom. According to survivors, the sensation is excruciating. The pain is often described as being burned with molten metal or electrocuted. It radiates from the foot up through the body, triggering intense muscle spasms, dizziness, numbness, and even paralysis. The toxin attacks the nervous system and the respiratory center, and if medical help isn't provided within an hour, the person may die from respiratory failure. This venom causes rapid blood vessel dilation, severe swelling, tissue destruction, and cardiovascular distress. It is especially dangerous for children, the elderly, and people with heart conditions. In severe cases, doctors have even had to amputate limbs due to tissue necrosis. An anti-venom does exist, but it's not available anywhere. The most critical step is immediate medical attention and administration of the antidote. Before that, painkillers and hot water are essential. The toxin is sensitive to heat, and water at around 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit can partially reduce its effect, but this provides only temporary relief. An additional danger lies in the fact that the stonefish can survive out of water for up to 24 hours. There have been cases where people picked it up on the shore, thinking that it was just a beautiful rock, only to end up in intensive care. Some species can even leap upward if they sense a threat and sting a person above the water's surface. When the fish feels danger, it raises its dorsal spines into a defensive position. This happens instantly, like a spring-loaded trap. Even the slightest touch can result in a painful sting. One such incident actually occurred in Thailand. A tourist walking through shallow water at dawn decided to pick up an unusual rock covered in bumps. Then a minute later, he was screaming in pain. Five minutes after that, he lost consciousness, and he was only saved because a guy nearby recognized the stonefish and immediately called for emergency services. Even with prompt medical care, the man spent nearly two weeks in the hospital and needed another month to recover. In Australia, the stonefish is considered so dangerous that warning signs are posted on beaches. Coastal clinics and hospitals stock anti-venom supplies, but in other Southeast Asian countries, especially remote areas, the antidote might be unavailable, and in such cases, every minute truly counts. That's why the number one rule for tourists is, never walk barefoot on the seabed in tropical waters. Even if the water appears clear and calm, a deadly threat might be hiding just beneath the surface. The sturdy footwear isn't just a precaution, it's a matter of survival. This fish isn't a monster from a horror movie, it's real, a true killer lying just beneath your feet, and one wrong step could be your last. So when you're walking through the shallows, always be sure to watch your step.